Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Sean Wheelock, the voice of Bellator Fighting Championships. We welcome all of you to this live video press conference. Last year, Bellator held its inaugural season in which champions were crowned in four weight divisions with coverage on ESPN Deportes, the first and only time that mixed martial arts has been featured on the ESPN family of networks. This year, Bellator has expanded its coverage to virtually every household in the United States. Our television partners are Fox Sportsnet, NBC, Spanish-language Telemundo, as well as the SCORE television network showing nationally in Canada. Bellator has also greatly expanded its talent pool this year while keeping the tournament format intact, which is the basis of Bellator's philosophy that fighters control their own destiny. I'd now like to welcome in the CEO of Bellator <laughs> Fighting Championships, Bjorn Rebney. Thanks, Sean. You know, we, we've... Uh... We've been blessed. We've been very fortunate to make some magical announcements over the last number of months. Our TV alliances with Fox Sports Network and with NBC and with Telemundo and The Score, uh, our sponsorship alliances with Everlast and with UltimateBet.net, um, some great venue alliances, partnerships with Madison Square Garden and partnerships with the Cordish Group to do six events, four with MSG, another four with the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino, um, great international television licensing deals, and then at the core, at the very foundation of what we're about, some great fighter signings, because that's what this organization is all about. The Dan Hornbuckles of the world, the Joe Warrens, the Ben Askrens, the, the Wallheads, the Patricio Pitbulls, the Jacob McClintocks, and our existing champ, Brian Baker, Eric Shambari, the list goes on and on, and our existing champions. Joe Soto at 45, who was an unknown, who became one of the top 10 ranked guys in the world. Eddie Alvarez, who's by many people's account, the second best lightweight on the face of the earth. Lyman Good, our welterweight champ, and our, and our middleweight champ, the beast Hector Lombard. Um, but at, with that as our foundation, it's my great pleasure to welcome today one of the gentlemen who I believe is, is one of the most exciting and one of the best lightweights on the face of the earth today in MMA, Roger Huerta. Welcome to Bellator Fighting Championships. Thank you, Thank you very much for having me. Thanks, man. Well, hey guys, how's it going? I'm back. I'll be back soon, April 8th, down at the Hard Rock Casino in Miami, and uh, I'm just, I'm stoked. I'm stoked to be here. Oh, we're very, very glad to have you. Very glad to have you. In a moment, we will open up questions to the media. Roger, though, I want to ask you, you know, you've been considered probably the top free agent in the world of mixed martial arts. Could have signed with any organization. Right. Why did you select to sign with Bellator Fighting Championships? Well, I mean, you, you answered that actually earlier uh, with your, with the presentation that you just put on. Um, the thing with uh, the Bellator has that nobody else has is that tournament format. Um, again, us fighters uh, control our own destiny. If uh, in order for me to continue to fight, I, I got to win. So with that said, uh, keep, I, I keep winning and I'll continue to fight on the tournament. And then my, my biggest goal right now is to, you know, again, I'm not overlooking any anybody on this tournament. I'm not. These guys are going to be hungry, and especially now that they know that I'm in this tournament, um, they're going to be even hungrier. And so in order to do so, I'm going to bring the best out of them and to bring, to bring the best out of myself. Um, I'm at a point in my career where um, I, I need a fight. You know, I need a fight. I've, I've been hungry. Um, I, haven't, I haven't fought in a while, but uh, now I'm back. I'm back, guys. And uh, this tournament is perfect. And the, at the end of the day, uh, you know, winning this tournament gives me a shot of, you know, fighting for the title. And against a guy who is by no, he's one of the best in the world right now, uh, Eddie Alvarez. And uh, that to me is an, an exciting fight. For our styles match up. Uh, amazingly, um, him and I are gonna would you know stand in the middle and and bang, and that's what the fans want, and that's what I would like, and uh, I, I know Eddie would like that too. Bjorn, where does signing this great fighter Roger Ware to rank in the seminal moments of Bellator Fighting Championships? Well, it, Sean, that's the magic about about Bellator is that everything is objective, so ultimately um, it remains to be seen. It's up to Roger. And ultimately, he will make the determination as to how seminal this moment becomes because he's got to win and move on. There's a Mike Ricci, there's a Toby Amata, there's a Farid Gadir. There's a lot of fighters in our lightweight division who would like nothing more than to make their name by beating Roger Huerta and earning their right to fight Eddie Alvarez. So um, where it matches up, it's very exciting. As a fan, when I take the CEO hat off and I put on the fan hat, um, this gentleman on my left, I love watching him fight. He brings it every single time. He does not have a reverse gear. He's the consummate fighter's fighter. Um, but he's got to beat three fighters, and then he's got, if he can do that, he'll earn the opportunity to fight Eddie Alvarez in a world title fight, which would be magical, but there's a road that has to be traveled before he gets there, so it remains to be seen, but it's an exciting day. Roger, as a fighter, what do you think about fighting in the tournament format to get you the world title shot, rather than just signing with Bellator and Bjorn saying, here's your world title shot? Well, it's shot. like March Madness, you know, it, it, it's the best the best team is going to win. I mean, it doesn't matter how you started the season, it's, gonna, it's how you finish. And so, and for me, uh, th this tournament is, uh, 
it's perfect for me for the way that I fight, the way that uh, you know the fans the, the fans want to see me fight con constantly. In order for that to happen, and I want to fight constantly. In order for that to happen, I got I got to win. And I'm gonna I'm gonna be fighting guys that are hungry, hungry. I mean, these guys are, uh, you know, you put it. It's like a cage pit bull. You know, you bring him out, and he's. It's gonna be intense. It's gonna be. And, and myself, I, I've been caged lately. You know what I mean? I, I've been traveling. I've been training a lot. Uh, I went to Thailand. I trained for two months out there. Um, learned a lot of Muay Thai. Learned polished my stand up more. And uh, even 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 the atmosphere that I had out there, it's like. I can't even explain. I, I'm just so really excited to be a part of this, be a part of this tournament, and to get a shot at uh, you know Eddie Alvarez. Now we will take questions from the media as well as from all of you. So go online, Bellator.com. Get to our questions. You can email us info at Bellator.com. We take our first media question. It comes from Steve Morocco. I beg your pardon. Steve Morocco is not yet with us. It is Dan Stupp at MMA Junkie. Dan, go right ahead, please. I beg your Thanks, pardon. Thanks, guys. Um, Roger, I know there was some talk of you possibly heading to, to strike force. I, they definitely seemed interested in you. I guess why ultimately did you end up choosing Bellator? What were some of the factors that, that made you want to sign with them? Well, basically, uh, the same thing that I answered earlier is that because of their format, the tournament format, is that you know we get to control our own destiny. And then, again, I wanted to put in as many fights as I could this year as well. Um, and, and the best way to do that is to fight for Bellator, is that I know if I continue to win... Um, on, on, on these fights that I continue uh, I continue on in the tournament. And therefore, you know, I, I have the possibility of fighting four times this year. This is something that I did in 07 where I fought, I'm sorry, yeah, where I fought five times in 07 and, and I, I have the ability to fight four times this year. And, and it's, it's more of staying active and uh, that's what they, 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 they brought to the table. Just a quick follow-up. You're talking about the frequency of fights. I think it's now been about 18 months since your last fight. I mean, is there any concern about ring rust or anything like that? Um, not really, you know. When I fought Gray Manor, it was uh, 13 months that I was laid off, and uh, but you know I got a call for that, and I I think that uh, I've been really con con consistent on my training, on on my nutrition, and basically on my body, where uh, I put it on on, on a pedestal, and, and and for that I think that uh, I'm I'm good, I'm healthy. I, I've been training this whole time. I even you know went to I traveled <laughs> across the world to to Thailand uh, in Phuket, a Tiger Muay Thai, to, to train with some of the best trainers out there with Crew Yad, Crew Nai. And you know, I want to thank those guys a lot too for for, I mean, what they what they've done for me. Um, thank you guys. And again, you guys are gonna get, see a new Roger Worth. Of, I'm hungry, hungrier than ever. I'm telling you right now, do not. You, you guys gotta t tune in because I'm coming. And I'm telling you right now also that these fighters are are gonna be in this tournament are are, are phenomenal.